Hi, welcome to Real Talk Central, the podcast where I sit in my college dorm room and talk, and it has been a messy day so far. Well, today, today, like, as a whole, wasn't too bad, just, like, maybe the last, maybe two hours or one hour was pretty bad. I don't know. I, I feel like I have one hour of the day that's terrible, and I let that ruin my entire day, which is bad, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, also, the fact that it's like 10.32 p.m. at night. <laughs> but, uh, so, basically what happened today is that uh, I actually had the day off today. Uh, I wasn't working because I had a band rehearsal. Because at the end of the year, the North Central band, the symphony band, or, no, I, I think all of the bands, they just come together as one band and they play for the graduation band. Because all of the seniors are obviously graduating. So, we had our rehearsal today and we... Just rehearse our, you know, the normal graduation pieces like Pomp and Circumstance and stuff like that. So that was good. Um, I, I slept in today. I didn't fall asleep until like, I think 3 a.m., which it, it was kind of confusing because I went to, to go use the bathroom and I came back. And I, as I was in the hallway, I heard birds chirping outside at 3 a.m., and I looked out the window. There wasn't even any sunlight out. So I was like, wow, birds chirping with no sunlight. That makes sense. Um, but I went to bed. I woke. I planned to wake up at like 11-ish um, because I had, I had band rehearsal at 2. But I actually ended up sleeping until 1 o'clock p.m. because I was uh, super tired. Like I got the 8 hours of sleep, but I wanted to get even more than that. Um, I, I had my alarm set for 11, but then once 11 came, I was like, yeah, I'll set it for 12. And then uh, 12 came, and I was like, yeah, I'll set it for 1 p.m. And once I woke up at 1 p.m., I sat in my bed just scrolling through social media until 1.45, and that's when I actually got out of bed and got ready for band rehearsal. Luckily, the, um, the place where we rehearse all of our music, it's called the Once Concert Hall, is just across the street from my dorm. So, it's good. Um, and then I, I pretty much had the entire day off, and I had, to, I had nothing to do for the entire day, and the next thing that I had to do was music rehearsal. So, in between the band rehearsal and music rehearsal, I just, I just chilled. I, I, I went to eat, and I uh, played Minecraft for the day, and then I went to a musical rehearsal. It went very good. We, um, like, like I said in the first episode, we're doing Little Memory this year, and I'm Sebastian, and it was very good, except right before I left for rehearsal, I was getting all my stuff ready. I got my bag, I got the, my, my sheet music, and the script for rehearsal. I got dressed, and I got my ID which is in my wallet, which is attached to my lanyard, which also has the key to my room. And I put it on the desk, being like, okay, my lanyard's here, I got my phone, I got everything. And then I walked out the door, and as soon as I closed the door, I realized, ah, oh, I just locked my keys in my room. And so I was like, okay, it's fine, I could just call my RA later, I could call Campus Safety, because we have like a 24-7 um, Campus Safety line for my school where you just call them whenever something's going on like if you get locked out or if there's an emergency you call them or you could just call your RA so I was like okay I'll just start this out once I get to um once rehearsal's over so I go to rehearsal it was pretty good and we just did we rehearsed She's in Love um but I I Sebastian's not in that one so I just sat on the side and um it, everyone was doing very good on it and then we did a run through up to there meaning that we start from the beginning of the show and we ran the entire show up to She's in Love. And then, once we did that, we had a couple extra minutes at the end. So the director was like, okay, uh, how about let's review Under the Sea, which obviously you guys know that's the Sebastian song. Um, it went very good, but if you're... So if you're familiar with, with like Broadway, you might know that the Broadway tune of Under the Sea and just Little Mermaid in general is slightly different than the movie version. It's like a, it's in a higher key, it's more fast and and just like all around, it's more like musical Broadway show tune style. So, so I, I have this very high note at the key change of Under the Sea. Um, if, if you're, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Under the Sea, Little Mermaid Broadway. And right at the key change, where like the notes like change if, if you're not familiar with what that is either, 
Sebastian has to sing a very, very high note, and that's what I've been working on. Um, and then for the rest of the piece, the song is just very high. Uh, it's it's not it's not too high for me because I'm I'm a tenor. I'm around like a like a tenor two to a tenor one. Um, I could actually sing from a tenor one tenor one all the way down to a bass one, a baritone. So Sebastian uh, was like in my range, but it's slightly above. It's slightly high above my range, but I, I could still do it if I um, if I just had like the proper support and stuff like that, and I have to belt some parts. But as we were doing the last run, I my voice cracked very bad, in, and it was in front of the entire cast of Little Mermaid because... Because I'm Sebastian, I stand right up at the front, like near the piano, with the entire cast behind me, and we just all face the accompani accompanist who's playing the music for us. And my voice cracked very bad, very very bad. And it, I uh, I looked up at my friend Sam, who's playing uh, Prince Eric, and we he he like just looked up and he smiled at me, and I was just like, oh, we made a face to each other. And then I just kept going. And then guess what happens? It happens again. My voice cracked again. It was bad. It was like, it was not one of those like, like small little voice cracks. Like my voice, like it changed the notes and it went above and I didn't even, so I was just like, oh great. And then it was so bad that I just, I lost where I was in the music and I just completely dropped out and the room was silent when I was supposed to be singing and then the director looked at me and because he knew what happened as well and then when it was done he was like okay let's run that section again I was like I'm so sorry but um I, I don't I don't think a lot of people heard it but some people did so uh, I asked some of my friends like I was like did you hear it and they're like yeah I heard it it wasn't too bad but still I was like Right after we were done, I, 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 um, I grabbed my girlfriend. I was like, let's get out of here. I feel stupid. <laughs> but the show is coming along uh, with what we got so far. Um, every single thing, every single scene that we've blocked so far. So blocking basically means putting it on stage. So moving it from the script to like physical on stage. Um, every single scene that we've blocked, I've, I have memorized so far. So that's good. Um, and we've already reviewed the Sebastian songs, uh, which is Under the Sea and Kiss the Girl. So I feel like it's coming along very well. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. And so, yeah, after rehearsal was done, I walked, I started to walk back to my dorm, and which was across campus from where rehearsal was put today. And, um, and then I, once I got to my dorm, I realized, oh, great, I, I locked my key in my room. So I was like, all right, I'll just call campus safety. And it rang for like 30 seconds and then it went to message and I was like, oh, I just, I, I put it together. Campus safety probably shut down for the summer already because it's the end of the year. The last day of school was yesterday. Um, oh, which by the way, I'm recording this episode the day after I recorded episode two. And even though this, this podcast is, I'm, I'm aiming for Saturdays, even though it's like weekly, I, I filmed them like or at least record them close together so I just have them ready ready to go and edited so I could have them like good for the day they upload so I don't have to be cramming later on um but yeah campus safety did not answer their phone so I was like oh, okay uh, I'll, I'll call my RA and I called my RA and he did not pick up his phone and then I realized oh wait my RA is a senior and he's pretty much graduated already, so he's probably not even on campus. Um, then I thought, oh, who else is, is in the building? Oh, Sophie, down the hall, like I was talking about the last episode. So I called her, and she didn't pick up her phone. And so I was like, oh, great. Um, and then I realized, oh, wait, there are other RAs in the building. So I called my friend Lily. You guys know Lily. And I said, like, hey, what's your RA's number? Because she lived in the same building as me this year. And I, I explained to Lily, I was like, yeah, I locked my key and ID in my room, so uh, can I just have your RA's number so I could call her? She's like, yeah, sure. So she gave it to me. I called I called the, um, Lily's RA. She didn't pick up her phone, so I texted her being like, hey, I'm locked out, uh, campus safety, and, and my RA is not answering the phone. So she's like, oh, um, you could just call the RA on duty because I, I, I guess how it goes, the RA's just like take turns, like being on patrol. So she gave me the number for that, and then right as I was calling, right right as I was like dialing the number, the RA on duty happened to 
walk out of the other dorm that's right next to mine. And I was like, oh, there you are. And um, so she came. And then she's like, did you get locked out? I was like, yeah, I did. And she's like, all right. So she scanned me in using her ID. And then uh, she we walked to the little closet where they where they keep all the duplicate keys of every single room. And then she she's like, oh, great. The keys have been moved to the other to the other dorm for the summer. So that meant that she had to go to back to the dorm where she just came from, come back while I just waited upstairs in, in the hallway. I just like sat on the floor in, in front of my room. While she went to go get the keys, she came back, she let me in my room, and now I'm here. And then I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like podcasting right now. I'm just gonna explain everything that just went on today. I don't know, I just felt like talking. I just wanted someone to share the story with. And then, my mic was having problems. You, like, I, I said in the last episode, in episode two, that I was having problems with my mic. And so the problem is, is so I'm using um what is it let me I'm looking at my mic it is a Florian BM800 condenser microphone and that's powered by um a phantom power supply which is all connected by XLR cables so the XLR cable that's going from the phantom power into my mic some uh, <sighs> there's the burp something is going wrong with the XLR cable and so when I connect it into the mic it doesn't actually pick up. So I have to do the thing where I have to hold the wire in the perfect position in order to have it work. It's like trying to make an old Apple charger work. You have to hold it in the right position. And as soon as you let go of it, it stops working. So literally, I have to, I had to prop my mic up a certain way and I have to, I have to have the wire bending and it's like leaning against my desk just so I could have it work and I spent like 10 minutes saying test 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 into the mic and I, I was trying to I was looking at the little bars on the screen so I could um, make sure that the volume was good and saying test 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 over and over again gets very annoying to myself like not even like I don't even have anyone else in the room but just to myself it's very annoying having to say it over and over fiddling with the wire trying to make this stupid mic work but eventually, I was able to get it working, and now I know what I have to do to get my mic to work. Because the other, this actually happened the other day too. On um, the first episode I recorded, I was trying to get my mic to work, and then I realized that I could get it working by having the XLR cable slightly plugged in, not in all the way. Because it's weird when I have it plugged in all the way, it doesn't work. But when I have it bent a certain way, it works. But obviously, I don't want to have to hold it like that. For the entire episode because what this is like 13 minutes so far or somewhere on there and then so I realized I could just like have it like bent there but then here's the thing for the last episode I had it like I had the XLR cable where it's slightly out and that was the reason the static was there uh, I was able to edit it down a certain like us to some extent you guys were still able to hear it, and I'm not sure if you could tell but the audio like sounded a little different sometimes that was when the static was there. So if, if you listen to the raw footage, it's pretty bad. The static was... It, it, it literally sounded like I was playing Slenderman. That's what the static sounded like. So I had to edit it down. I had to cut out the, the hum reduction. Uh, so once I, once I got back to my dorm and I saw that my mic was having problems, I was like, are you serious? I'm not having another thing being wrong today. So I'm just like... Luckily, I was able to get it figured out. So... <laughs> But, um, I, I guess I don't really have, have a topic picked out for today's podcast. Today was just sort of like a, like a, a real talk rant. I've only had like one of those so far. Funny because the last time I did a real talk rant episode, it was because of this freaking microphone. It was, it was about online shipping. Uh, that, that's a very old video. Like if you've been on this channel, you remember that video. I was freaking pissed off that day. Um, if you haven't seen that video, just uh, look up 18 Jason M real talk rant or just go to the real talk playlist on my channel. <sighs> uh, so I don't know I, I feel like I, I need to talk about something for today. I'm trying to think of something. Um, I, I guess, I guess I could just turn this into a, like, yeah, you're going to have bad days. Um, stuff is going to go wrong. That's just a natural part of life. Things are going to go wrong, but are you going to let that affect the entire day? 
I, I actually stumbled uh, upon an Instagram post today where you have, what is it? You have $10,000 in your bank and someone steals $100 from you. Are you going to spend $9,900 trying to set up a little revenge hit on them? Or are you just going to move on with your life? And, you know, of, oh, you know, of course, you're going to try to get that $100 back. But are you really going to, like, put a lot of time in trying to, like, like get revenge on them? Or are you just going to, like, once it's over, once it's the problem's done, are you going to, like, stress about it? And are you going to spend all that money trying to get revenge on them? Like, no, of course you're not. So if you have 24 hours in a day and if 10 minutes is bad of it, are you going to let that one 10 minutes ruin your 24 hours? Of course not, you know? So I just had um, a bad two hours of the day, but am I going to let it affect the rest of my day? No. Again, it's 10.48 p.m. But still, even if this happened at 10 a.m., am I going to let it affect the rest of my day? Of course not. So don't let 10 minutes affect 24 hours. And that's basically just how, like how you have to look at things in life, you know? You, you can't let the small things get to you. Um, and even though, like, something big might happen in just 10 minutes, it's just 10 minutes throughout your day. Yeah, yeah it might have been something, like, huge. Yeah, it might, have, it might be something that you have to spend a lot of time on in the future to, to solve. But as for your attitude, are you going to, like, let it, like, bring you down? You know, y you shouldn't. And that's basically just what everything is about, what life is about. Um... So I guess that's basically what I have for today's podcast. Uh, don't let small things get you down. Um, I'm going to eat now. I, I have some nice grilled lime chicken that I stole from the college buffet. Duh, because for the summer, I'm on my own for food. There's no meal swipes. There's none of that. So I literally have to go grocery shopping or eat in, in the town that I live in, which is expensive. So... I was able to eat for free today at the college at the college buffet because for this little time until I move to my to my new dorm they're going to let they're going to let little meal swipes until that time. So I got to take advantage of that and I literally brought a backpack and I have and it was filled with Tupperware. So I packed food from the buffet. I I purposely sat in the back room where the dining area is so I could pack the food because they, they, they don't let you do that. They're, I know like some people who have tried to like take food or like have tried to fill up their water bottles with like I don't know, soda or something. They say like, hey, you got to dump that out or like, hey, you, you got to put that food like back. You got to throw that out because, you know, it's a meal swipe and it's a it's all you can eat buffet. So obviously you're not allowed to do that. But if you're sneaky, you you could get away from from it. But <clears throat> OK, so. I'm going to go heat, heat up my grilled lime chicken. Uh, I also got a Jimmy John's sandwich that I should probably save for tomorrow. I don't know. Depends on how hungry I am. But, okay, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, Real Talk rant. But uh, hopefully you, you were able to see um, what I was able to turn this bad situation into. Don't let things ruin your day. That's just what it's all about. Okay, so... Again, thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the 18 today. Uh, I really, I'm really enjoying uh, filming all these podcasts uh, or recording. I keep saying filming. Um, I, I feel like it's uh, it's good to just talk and have someone to talk to, and in that case, it's you guys, and and it's good to to just reflect on different things and be able to talk. Um, again, I have a podcast for this Instagram. It is Real Talk Central Podcast. I think in the last episode, I accidentally said Real Talk Central Podcast. Or some... No, I said Real Talk Podcast. And it's Real Talk Central Podcast on Instagram. Look it up. That's uh, that's where you could leave suggestions um, and questions for the next episode. And that's also where you could message me if you want to be a guest on the show. Uh, I already got some people who are, um, who are on my list who have come to me and be like, yeah, I totally uh, love to be on the show. So um, that could be you. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the car. Thanks for listening. Bye.